Hello, wonderful Aquarius. This is Bobby with Serendipity Oracle with your current energy reading. Hope you've had a wonderful first week of the year and wishing you, of course, just like a, an amazing year. Okay, I've got six cards for you, six messages. And we'll start with the first one, which is White Eagle, Ancestor Spirit. White Eagle is a Native American shaman who is dedicated to honoring our spiritual heritage. He is a world-renowned spiritual guide who has been particularly cherished by mediums all over the world. He first spoke through a medium called Grace Cook in the early 20th, 20th century. He is the guide who helps create clear channels in our bloodline and our spiritual lineage so we can access the heart of the Creator. He also helps us move into sacred ceremony where we can hold sacred space to honor a change, transition, celebration, or anything else that deserves time and attention. White Eagle is wonderful for clearing space and we can call on him for helping in forging spiritual connections. Aquarius, you're being asked by White Eagle to take some time to honor just how far you've come in your journey, in your growth. Recognize through ceremony and ritual the shifts in your awareness. By recognizing these shifts in your journey, you're allowing yourself to move into a state of grace and gratitude. You have or have recently had an opportunity to heal an old family wound or pattern. It's important to connect with your family and spirit so that you can set a new energy of love in place. White Eagle is bringing your ancestors through to you and allowing you to know that they are happy and well. White Eagle is sounding his sacred drums to clear your spirit. It's a time of healing. And sometimes family wounds, family traumas, even something not as extreme as that, but just patterns that we've inherited from our ancestors can really keep us back from living the life that we really want to live, you know, of fulfillment and joy and love and connection. So make sure to spend some time really embodying what you've gone through. Sometimes we can get stuck with this feeling of, you know, I've, I've spent all these, this time in trying to help myself, trying to heal, trying to transform, create myself. And sometimes our ego is not satisfied and says, well, you haven't done enough, or everything that you've done is for nothing, you've just been pretending, you're, you're exactly where you've been, you know, you're, you're stuck, etc., etc. So uh, you're being asked to clear that energy, those, that voice that keeps insisting that you haven't moved on, that you haven't changed. And in this way, being able to ground or integrate this change within you in your life. The second message we have here is from the Eight of Earth. And letting you know that it's time for studying and Attention to detail, you know, uh, creation, creating, whether it's a project, whether it's a new relationship or a new way of being in a particular relationship. It's a time to commit to learning about your career, your vocation, your talents, your project, your passion. You're definitely on the right track, Aquarius. Your dedication, your skill, and your talents are appreciated and will soon be rewarded. Still, there's more to learn, so consider taking classes related to, again, what you love to do, what you're interested in, what intrigues you. A serious commitment to study or to research is now called for. So it might be time to just go to school, right? It may be a, you know, kind of your, your regular type of schooling, but it could also be something more alternative, something offbeat, something that is not very popular, but something that still intrigues you. The next message is from the Hermit, and 
this this kind of you know correlates with the energy of eight of earth which is taking the time to invest in what you love about your life and what you're interested in what you're curious about right meditation is very essential as part of this and also for your enlightenment for being able to reach certain levels of understanding of your multi-dimensional self be silent experience the joy that comes from seeking the truth of your own heart learn to feel comfortable in your own company after all there's a difference between being alone and being lonely you can be alone and you can benefit a lot from that or you can be lonely right and, and have a very kind of negative reaction to feeling lonely this card also signifies spiritual teaching. So whatever it is that you're learning with the aid of earth, you're being asked to share that, right? to, to share your passion and what you care about, what you love, what you're intrigued about, what you're curious about, what excites your eyes and gets you your heart pumping. This is feeling comfortable with your life, with your preferences, with yourself. And then being able to share that with others, being able to impart this wisdom. And most of the time, the most effective way to be able to share wisdom is to live it, is to be it, is to walk the talk. Sharing wisdom is part of your spiritual journey, especially at this time. So if you find yourself in a situation where someone is needing some kind of help or guidance or assistance, allow yourself to do what you can, to offer what you can to the situation. Right? Becoming a mentor, this doesn't mean that you have to go all out, you know, and this is something maybe that you'd like to also study more about, right? How to guide, how to help others, how to be a good leader, or a good teacher what you're going through now is the continuation of discovery of the truth of your life so evaluate what you're going through evaluate what you spend time doing evaluate your plans and make sure that you refocus your life in a spiritual way so it's not just a physical life because it is a physical life and it's beautiful but it's also a spiritual life right? you can um, invocate Archangel Raziel who offers sage advice to you as a spiritual seeker including guidance about esoteric concepts and something that you can also just research about learn have an open mind find a mentor yourself or a teacher Archangel Raziel can help you with the interpretation of your sleeping dreams and your past life memories. Raziel will help you find the richness that comes from meditation and spending time alone in contemplation. And the Hermit card is not just about being alone, but it's also about being a light, a beacon for others. You're being asked, again, not with a lot of pressure but to shift more into that state, to shift more into study, self-study, about whatever subjects, whether they're metaphysical, esoteric or not. And the conclusion there is to be able to then share that with the world, whether it's by you know, articulating what it is, the wisdom, or by putting that wisdom in action. The next message that you're receiving here is discipline. Whatever you desire in life can be created, but only if you're willing to do the necessary work. Right? We talked about studying. We, we talked about even you know mentoring others, and this takes work. You know, it takes effort. That means no shortcuts, no bypasses. The only path to success is consistency and discipline. Fortunately, your master teacher is present, helping you to develop a heartfelt and mature work ethic 
by getting organized and becoming practical in your approach to achieving your goal. Examine your heart, be willing to do what it tells you, whatever it takes to reach your aims. If you don't know what you must do, then learn, study, seek out the help of mentors and guides who specialize in your field of interest. Study, learn with an open heart and mind, yet set your standards high. Your master teacher reminds you at this time, mastery in any area only comes from demanding nothing less than the best from yourself and the best from yourself at that moment without putting too much pressure on yourself. The next message is name your higher self. We've got a lower self, if you will, which in many ways is considered to be the ego or the person, the identity, the self, the human self. So, you know, Bobby, that's, you know, my lower self. You could say that that's my physical name. And then the higher self is the divine self, is the awareness of the multidimensionality that we currently live in. It's the one, it's the awareness, the perspective that can see above and beyond the material and the physical and the routine, you know, the kind of like, oh yeah, every day is the same or okay, you know, everybody's human and just kind of blah, blah. The higher self is able to give huge value to everything and everyone. You can creatively bypass your your ego and your conscious mind and tap directly into your higher self by giving it a name such as Tom or Betty or Michael or HS. The name that you choose isn't important. We talk regularly with our higher self and we can learn a lot from the higher self. And if you're able to name your higher self, then it makes this conversation a little bit more a little bit easier because it's like talking to a person, right? Sometimes when we consider a higher self, our higher self is, it seems like kind of like ghostly or etheric and it doesn't have any form. It's just kind of like a bright light. But when you give it a name, when you give your self, your higher self a name, then you create a more intimate connection, a more open connection to higher vibration and to higher perspective. And it's fun. It makes it easy to focus. You can ask for guidance in any situation as though you're asking a dear and trustworthy friend. You can speak to your higher self out loud or through writing. Once it has a voice, it will freely respond whenever called upon. Ask your higher self by name what it feels is best for you right now and then listen to it as it responds. The more specific your questions, the more specific the answers will be or can be. Don't let your ego block this powerful technique for accessing your higher vibration. Don't think it's too silly or whatever, you know, just be open to it. Lighten up. Give your higher self a chance to speak. You'll enjoy this new perspective. And finally, Aquarius, we have a message here about the dry desert. You may be going through something right now that you really want to work out. You know, I really, really want this to happen. I really want this to, to be born, right? To be manifest. Except that it might not be what you think it is. So no matter how beautiful and seductive the glow of an illusion, it's just an illusion. It's like fool's gold. It's not gold. It shines like gold. It kind of looks like gold, but it's not. So when this car, the dry desert, shows up, and it, it did show up in reverse, just letting you know that there's a warning to not be hypnotized into thinking that you're going to achieve your desire if you're not aligned. 
if it's not for you, if it's not something that you deeply want, if it's not something that's deeply beneficial for you, then it has nothing for you. Consider the gift here that if you know, if you feel that something isn't right for you while you're listening to this reading, then you can at least be aware of what it is that you don't want, which, of what you don't prefer, right? what you don't like. And by being clear about this, by being clear of like, okay, that this particular path, this particular choice, this particular mission has very little to give to me, very little to benefit me, very little to help me grow. It might be a waste of time, right? It might be something that doesn't really need much of your energy and attention. It might be holding on to, for example, like a past relationship. Some, you know, trying to, you know, wishing and wishing that this old relationship that you had is renewed or comes back. And it might just be that it's time for you to move on to a different relationship. So by being able to be aware of what is like a desert, right? Like... It's not healthy for you. It's not giving you anything. It's just drying you up. It's draining you. This might be a, a person, a place, a situation, a job. If you're able to let this go, be aware of it and go, okay, this is not what I want. I, I need to move forward. I need to move on. Then you'll see that something much better, more fulfilling and life sustaining will show up. Celebrate this insight be grateful and shift your focus shift your attention shift your behavior even if you're stuck with a, a way of doing things that is no longer really working then you've got to try something different and that's the wonderful thing about life is that there are so many possibilities there are so many options and decisions and choices that we can take so Aquarius, remember to accept the help from your guides, from your mentors. Remember to give back too, you know, to be a, a mentor for those who are seeking and don't have maybe a lot of guidance, whatever it is that you can offer, whether it's a small um, bit of wisdom this small bit of wisdom can be the whole world for someone else. So when you feel compelled, when you feel, when you, even if you're asked, right? And this is usually the best way is to, is to offer guidance, to offer advice when you're asked. But if you feel compelled at the moment to tell someone something in a very loving, caring way with no attached agenda, just, look, I want to offer this to you. You know, um, support, emotional support. Like, I know you're going through these tough feelings and these, these tough situations, but you're going to get through this. You can and you will. But it, it'll take time for you maybe to get to that space where you can be a mentor. So this, again, is the whole like a big theme in this reading is about learning, learning more, learning more and following your intuition to guide you towards fertile land, towards what you really want in your life, as opposed to, you know, what doesn't really interest you, but you know, you're stuck there maybe because it's familiar and change can be scary, but you know, change is everywhere. Change is happening all the time. <laughs> Aquarius, I'm wishing you a wonderful rest of January. If you'd like a private reading or an extended reading, please contact me, direct message me or private message me, and I will prepare another reading for you. All you've got to do is ask. And 
if it's your first reading with me or from me, then there's no reason for you to donate anything or pay me in any way. This will be a freebie on me. So make sure to uh, either leave a comment or contact me directly that you'd like a reading so I can prepare that for you. Thank you so much for your likes and your subscriptions. I will see you at the next reading. Many, many blessings, Aquarius.